Hello, this is Holy Han. I would like to share with you a, a small Bible study book that I wrote about 15 years ago. This is in reference to the mystery of the bright and morning star. I'll read some verses to you and then show some of my other findings to you. Isaiah 14, 12. How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, and you who once laid low the nations, you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds, and I will make myself like the Most High. That's in a reference to Satan, the dragon. Second Peter 1.19 and we have the word of the prophets made more certain, and you do well that you pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Morning star number two is the Messiah. Revelation 2.24 To you who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets, I will not impose any other burden on you. He will rule them with an iron scepter. He will dash them to pieces like pottery, just as authority from my father... And I will also give him the morning star that's coming from Christ himself. Revelation twenty two sixteen. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and offspring of David and the bright and morning star coming from Jesus. I'm going to revisit the Ezekiel verse that I had decoded by the number 7. Psalms 12, 6, the words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. I divided Ezekiel 28, 13 by the number seven. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardis, topaz, and the diamond, the barrel, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, and the emerald, the carbuncle, and the gold, the workmanship, of thy tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created, and I have set thee so. Now I divided that by the number seven. I got the word sea red print, C H R I T, which nearly spells out the word Christ, and the word yet dead. Again, this is the infamous Satan verse of the Bible. This is Holy Han. I am trying to increase my Google and my YouTube membership and, and uh, get subscribers for my video. And I hope you enjoyed this and God bless.